This is Mrs. Stevens talking about variables that shift the AD curve, aggregate demand. And I'm referring to one of the bullet points on my learning objectives for Chapter 23, which is explain events that may cause the AD curve to shift, and also to list and explain at least two examples. So we're going to go through the four components of aggregate demand, and these are the four variables that shift the AD curve. First one is consumption, and an example of consumption might be consumer confidence. Okay, so are consumers confident about the future economy? Well, uh, if they are very confident, we'll put a big plus sign here, if they're very confident about the future economy, then this is going to shift the AD curve out. People are going to, consumers are going to go out and buy houses and cars and big ticket items if they're confident about having a job in the future. Another example of a, um, an, a thing that might shift consumption is interest rates. And so if interest rates go up, for example, that makes money harder to get. Car loans have higher interest rates. Mortgages have higher interest rates. Credit cards have higher interest rates. People are going to be a little bit less likely to go out and spend a lot of money and rev up that economy. So we're going to say that with higher interest rates, the AD curve shifts in. A third example of consumption might be taxes. Okay, so taxes, if, if we're taxed more, that means we have less money to spend. And so with a higher tax rate, we are going to see less consumption. That's going to shift in the aggregate demand curve. Okay, so here are three examples of consumption and how they might impact the movement of the aggregate demand curve. All right, I'm going to move these out of the way. And now we're going to look at the next variable, which is investment. Investment is business spending. And so there are factors in the economy that will encourage businesses to spend more, to build new plants, and buy more equipment, to start a new product line to invent things, um, to go out there and invest in their future. So business spending is, a lot of that is long-term spending. They're looking out in, in the long run to see how they think the economy looks. And if they think that they'll be able to sell their product in the long run, then they'll, they will spend money today investing in their business. All right, so what are some of the examples of in, uh, things that could shift investment spending? One of them is interest rates. So you see some of these are the same things that affect consumption. So if interest rates are high, we'll put a plus there. Interest rates are high, then money is less easy to get. Businesses are not going to be quite so eager to go out and borrow money to build a whole new building or a plant. And so the AD curve is going to shift in. You're going to have less um, spending on goods and services. Another example is producer confidence. So you have consumers that can be confident, and you also have producers. So producer confidence, if producer confidence is high, then yes, they are going to spend money today so that uh, they can hire people in the future, produce more products, provide more services in the future, and that shifts the AD curve out. A third example of investment, things that will shift uh, investment, are taxes. So these are very similar to the three examples we used for consum consumption. When taxes are higher, so businesses pay taxes just like consumers do. Businesses pay taxes on different things, though. Uh, some things the same, like 
income. They pay taxes on income, but they also pay pay caps, pay taxes. Excuse me, on uh, some other kinds of things, inventory, um, capital gains. There are a variety of different ways that the government can either increase or decrease taxes on businesses. So let's say that uh, the government increases taxes on businesses that discourages them from spending. They have less money to spend. And so that shifts the AD curve in. All right, so here are three examples of um, ways that the investment can, investment part of the AD curve can shift either in or out. All right, we can move those away. Next item is government expenditures. And we watched the uh, news item about uh, when the government bailed out the big three automakers. That was an example of government expenditures to try to shift the AD curve out. Um, so you have, in the recent past, you, you don't always have this, but I suppose we could put this on here, bailouts are an example of government expenditures that would shift the AD curve out. Another example of government spending might be on the military. So if the government were to, for example, cut the military in half, that would be a lot less spending. It would um, really impact the economy in the short run. A lot of uh, military folks would, once their four-year enlistment is up, may not be re-enlisted. Lots of contractors would lose work uh, with the government. Businesses near military bases, restaurants and things like that, will lose business. And so if we have, um, let's see, if we have less military, we're going to say that's a minus sign there, we have less military spending, that's going to shift the AD curve in. And then another example of government spending might be roads projects and other construction and so it's an example of just straightforward spending. The more the government spends on projects, the more it will shift out the AD curve. All right, I'm going to put those away. And then the last component is net exports. So net exports means exports minus imports. Um, an increase in imports will shift the AD curve in will decrease real gross domestic product, and an increase in exports will shift the AD curve out. Okay, so one example is the economic health of other countries. So, for example, when we had our uh, re recession going on, Europe was suffering even more than we were and uh, of trading partners. Okay, so if the economic health of trading partners uh, is, is bad, we're going to put a minus sign here, uh, then they're not going to be in a um, position to be able to buy goods from the, U from the United States. And so when the economic health of trading partners decreases, the AD curve shifts in. And another example um, that would affect net exports is trade barriers. Barriers to trade. And so if other countries have high bar barriers to trade, in other words, they, they can't import U.S. goods uh, without some kind of a penalty, then that's going to shift our AD curve in. So we're going to put a little plus sign here. If there are high trade barriers, it's going to shift the AD curve in. So those are some examples of the four components of the AD curve, the aggregate demand curve, and how they work to shift the curve either in or out.